guys hey there how's it going it is fangs and welcome to another reaction video we're gonna be doing on my channel here today so jake paul's put a video out today he says there's a real truth to why he left youtube and so we're gonna find out for real why he actually went away from youtube a lot of people say it's because he was going to help the victims down in florida some people say it's because him and erica costell broke up and then others say it's because he's training for boxing all different kinds of stuff that's going on but we won't know exactly what it is until we react to this video right here today so we have the truth of why i left youtube we're gonna do that if you guys want me to react to anything else in the future tomorrow the next day put it in the comments down below i'll try to get to it as fast as i can if you get to the end of this video you like the reaction a thumbs up would be amazing and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into this. I'm gonna see how this goes. I gotta kind of close my door because my husband's back there playing video games. Hold on a second. I wanted to just get to the part where the answers were and I like, I watched the very beginning of it and it was just kind of like, la 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 la. So now I think we're getting to it right here. Logging, that's not the case. Well, I just that. lost it. Okay, hold on. He's like filming and talking to you guys right now. So if I seem <laughs> awkward, just um, disregard that. This room However, looks awesome, by the way. Saying, Yo, I think like Jake and Erica are in a big fight. Oh. That's why they both stopped vlogging. That's not the case. They okay. Both said, okay, so you're not broken oh, up. Jake and, and Logan are training for the KSI Deji fight, and that's not the case. I okay. literally probably don't even have to, to train for it. He watched the video. I knew he was going to watch this video. He watched it. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't even have to have to train for that what else did people say people thought like i, I just wanted to like take a break uh also, no that's not the one i heard also thought that there was uh drama going on in team 10 that is not obviously you would think that i mean i think you think that got rid of the, the, the drama people in team 10 oh martinez twins oh, no. and so probably wondering jake where were you and and some of you you hit the nail on the head. Some of you kind of like realized where I was. I don't know how. Y'all are like literally CIA agents. <laughs> However, come they are pretty. I mean, come honestly, on they are. We get into the uh, where I. Oh, was come at. on. Talks. It was crazy because I was still like doing a ton of stuff while I wasn't with you guys and I missed you guys so much And I wanted to like share it all with you and I'm going to in, in, I thought in, you were recording days, But so much happened guys like I, I had days where like I wasn't doing as much stuff And so like I got a tattoo. I made some Tattoo and he did not um, daily vlog it. I went shopping for some clothes. Like I literally haven't been shopping in like a year. All well, I wear is merch. Mm. I spent time with my dad and, and brother and I slept. I went to a that cute dog in the back and got like paparazzi 900 times. Of course, of course. Face. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. The main thing that I was doing, and I spent a lot of time on this. I was down in Florida okay. in Parkland talking to as many people as I could, listening to their stories, hearing their stories, trying to figure out how we put an end to school shootings, like point. This is what you guys thought it was and you were right. Blank. How do we put an end the music to school just shootings? How do we make schools a safer place? And I was talking to, to victims, I was talking to parents, I was talking to kids that were in the classroom. Of Which is a big deal because we've had 22 or more in this year alone, which is crazy. Building where the shooting take, took place. I talked to the Parkland County Commissioner. I talked to uh, Senator Marco Rubio, who got oh, wow. who got like roasted on online. And I wanted to figure out how these kids felt. I wanted to figure out how we can make schools safer. And I wanted to turn it into this this big message. So that we could all this is getting very serious right now. Uh, this is one of the more serious videos I've ever watched. This going forward, there's so much momentum on this topic right now. We now is the time where we really, really, really have a chance to make a difference. And and like when I tell you it changed my life, like it changed my life. The these kids have gone through so much. They dealt with some some terrible and people put it on freaking Twitter. It's disgusting. So I think so. What happened to them? should never happen again. And I didn't know like Listen. what to think going into it. And I just like kind of immersed myself into their town and into their culture. And like a, a lot of the kids there didn't want to like talk to counselors. They didn't want to talk to therapists. They just wanted to, to like hang out with somebody. And That's probably, it's easier when you're that age. It's easier to relate with somebody that way. So I totally understand I that. that. Somebody was there for them. It was so meaningful to me as well because um, I had a cousin who w was in a school shooting 
I did not know that. That's kind of crazy. It was like a couple cities over for me while while I was in class in high school, and I just remember my mom texting me and being like, "There's a school shooting at Chardon. Like, uh, are you safe? Are you okay? What's going on? Like, your cousin's inside of the building." And like, I just remember like my heart instantly dropping, and that wasn't even me like going through that makes experience. My heart, makes my heart hurt a little bit. So I needed to figure out like a way to stop these things from happening again in the future, because I like it's so. Tragic, like kids shouldn't have to go through this. I uh, have been working really hard on the basically the this story of what happened and how to prevent against it for uh, weeks now, and that's. Uh, sorry, it sounds like my I don't know. Someone's trying to get in my door. What I'm on. doing, and finally, it's going to be coming onto YouTube tomorrow, and I really think it has such powerful information inside of it that will teach you or your parents or anybody that watches the video on how to keep your school safe guys like the biggest thing I learned is that it can happen to anyone at any time and it can okay so we understand we understand I'm gonna let him do like this is his video his I don't want to like use the whole video just to go through that I mean I feel great about this mostly because um, that's something that like people and youtubers should get behind instead of going around like un I know it's unfortunately taking shots at him or his brother and being like do whatever you want live your life be a maverick No real things happen where you can't be that way and real things happen where you know that kid might have thought he was being a maverick or something like that and you just you're doing whatever you want you're just doing things that you think is okay and like our whole society is desensitized to things like this and it just happens so much over and over and over again that something needs to happen and so someone like this who's huge jake paul an influencer and even his brother whoever else is there who takes a stand for it it's a big deal same thing with suicide i think like there's a ton of just violence in general just guns i i don't want to get into the story the whole anything about him because I'm not gonna bring that on my channel. I'm not gonna go back and forth with somebody about like gun laws and different things like that, but there just needs to be something that happens that stops that part of it. Mental health with guns do not mix. And so those two need to be worked with. We need to find out how that can be fixed. And so I'm glad that he's doing this. Interested to see what his, I'll probably not react to it, but I'll probably watch his video tomorrow based on that. And I think that's awesome. It's very admirable. I know everyone thought, you know, of course I thought that like something crazy happened. I thought he was actually, genuinely, I thought he was just training and boxing, but I guess he doesn't feel like he has to. I wonder what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Who knew it? Who didn't know it? Who thinks it's amazing that he's actually doing something for a good cause instead of being a butthead like he is sometimes? Um, let me know that in the comments down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. Like I said, if you do ever, you get to the end, you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. Good for Jake Paul for going out there, talking to those kids, because they probably needed it. He's not much older than them, and they probably look up to him, so it's like really good for them to have somebody like that to talk to. That's going to be it for this video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!